Good morning children and welcome back. Today we will study Time and Motion Part 3rd. Children, today we will study about measurement of time. Time is a phenomena by which human beings observe and record changes in the environment and the universe. Children, the knowledge of time and its measurement is very important and as you know, the standard unit of time is second. However, some other units of time are also used. Now, children, we will study more specifically about the ancient time devices that were used to measure time. So, in ancient times, there were no clocks to measure time. However, the need to track time was felt even then. Early man had his own way to measure time that was based on the periodic moment of the heavenly bodies. Now children, in this slide you can see some of the measuring devices which are used in, which were used rather in ancient times. Number one is the sundial. Children, sundial was designed based on the principle of shadow formation due to sunlight, which varies with position of the sun in the sky. Maharaja J. Singh II of Jaipur initiated the construction of some sundials a few hundred years ago to measure time and one of them is in Jaipur and other is in Delhi at Jandar Mandir. Second is sand clock. Children, sand clock is also known as R class. The, this clock is made up of two rounded glass bulbs placed one above the other that are connected by an arrow glass tube. The upper bulb contains sand that flows to the lower bulb with a fixed interval of time. When the entire sand gets filled in the lower bulb, the clock is inverted and the sand flows again. The third measuring device is water clock. Children, a water clock is a timekeeping device that works on the principle of inward or outward regulated flow of water. In the inward regulated flow method, a bowl marked with lines is filled with water. The flow of water is regulated. The lines are marked to track the flow of water that indicate the time. So children, this was how People in olden days or ancient times used to measure time. Thank you children and have a 